Hi guys, Dmitry is here and today we're gonna talk about my new electric scooter Nandrobot D6 Plus. For those who are considering buying this model or don't know what to buy, I hope this video is gonna be useful as we're gonna go through some pros and cons. And also we're gonna have a race with my previous model which was Xiaomi M365. So let's get started. Built like a tank. Design is very attractive. This model really stands out. People on the street literally stop to check it out. It has stylish lights and also it has turns which I found very useful. It makes it safer to drive on a carriageway and it's predictable for other car drivers. What I don't really like is that quite often I forget to turn them off after making a turn because there is no any indicators telling you is that on or off. So it's one of the things that I had to get used to. A very comfortable high and wide deck, high enough to dry over road curbs and wide enough so you can even take your friend for a ride. But keep in mind not to overload it. 100% I like it visually and it's very comfortable. A bit heavy like every other similar scooter on the market, but there are clear advantages to that. The scooter feels very stable while riding, even at higher speeds. However, if you live on the fifth floor, like I do, it would be a nightmare to bring it every day all the way up and down. So I store it myself in the basement of the house. One more negative thing I didn't know before buying it is that when you fold it, you are unable to fixate the stem. But actually, it's not something I do quite often. On the other side, this mechanism excludes any shakes and feel very stable. Speed is 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers, very fast, more than enough for the daily commute. Even in the traffic you would feel yourself quite comfortable. The scooter has a power start option, which makes scooter's acceleration incredible. A regular start mode will definitely be better in terms of saving battery. However, power start is way more fun. By the way, it takes 20 minutes to get to my work with the car and 17 minutes with D6 Plus with normal pace. I am sure that if rush, it's possible to go under 15 minutes, but I prefer safe ride. Scooter has Echo mode. Echo range is up to 40 miles, which is 60 kilometers. Max speed range is 20 miles, which is 32 kilometers. Great battery. Charging takes 5 hours with 2 charges, which is really impressive. By most of the time I charge it at my work, so I don't need to spend my electricity at home. What I still can't get used to are dual and echo mode buttons. It's quite hard to understand in which mode you are in at the moment. Sure, most of the time you feel when you turn dual mode on, cause it immediately gives you an acceleration. But in some situations, on the medium speeds, it's really hard to understand. D6 Plus has very smooth suspension, actually perfect for off-road riding, great for taking shortcuts, there are actually no obstacles for D6 Plus. You can go even through the speed bumps and road curbs. It literally can manage with almost any road you can imagine. I remember on some roads with my M365 I was shaking so much that I felt it pretty much everywhere in my body. But with D6 Plus you can forget about that, because it absorbs everything. I have hydraulic brakes. They are $100 more expensive than the regular disc brakes, but they are very sharp. Keep in mind that having efficient brakes is very important for safety, especially on the high speeds. For me, probably Nandrobot gets 10 out of 10 for the brakes. I would say that price is very competitive compared to similar brands. D6 Plus is actually Nandrobot's flagship product. And before buying it, of course, I did some research and I found out that it's quite popular and has optimal balance between price and quality. My previous scooter was Xiaomi M365, but if compare, it was more like a toy. After some time I wanted more speed and was looking for new emotions, so finally I decided to buy Nandrobot D6 Plus and I don't regret. Here we have some fun race with my friend who got M365 scooter.
Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. Feel free to ask any questions and see you next time.